Nearly two years ago, I shared my first Codecademy Pro review here on YouTube. And after racking up almost 100,000 views, it looks like you guys are kind of curious about this platform. But two years is a long time when it comes to web development education. So have my thoughts about Codecademy Pro changed since doing that first video review? Well, today I'm going back inside Codecademy Pro to show you the platform's features, courses, layout, price, and more. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up developers? It's Real Tough Candy from realtoughcandy.io. Popping back on for another video review. As I mentioned in the intro, for whatever reason, you guys are really interested in Codecademy Pro. So it's been a while. We're gonna revisit this thing, see what's different. Now, if you tuned into that other Codecademy Pro video review I did, you may notice a few different things. The too long didn't watch of it is that all the core concepts, the core basics, your career paths, your skill tracks or skill paths, all those things are pretty much the same. There are a few additional courses. The layout's a little different. The UX UI is a little different. It looks a lot, not a lot cleaner. I'm not gonna be completely like over the top with it. It looks a little cleaner, um, but honestly, Codecademy, whether you're on the free tier or the pro tier, they always had their UX UI game on point. In other words, they make it really easy to engage with the platform. Uh, this was one of the first platforms I used as an aspiring web developer. It wasn't the one I ultimately settled on, but I used it here and there and it was pretty decent. I really don't have any critiques of it uh, other than that it wasn't my main one for reasons that are too long and complicated to get into in this video. So here we are in the Code Academy Pro workspace area, my personal collection of courses available to me. What I like about this platform is that once you sign up for Pro, it's not like you're just taking one track. You can switch them, you can mix them, you can take whatever courses you want. If you're a web developer and you want to explore JavaScript, explore JavaScript. But if you want to explore data science, you can also explore data science. So that's pretty cool. The other thing I've always really liked about this platform is that number one, the interactive code editors are really engaging and they have a lot of cool features. And I'll get into those in just a moment when I hop into this career path back end engineer. This is one of the ones that some people, I have a website too, realtoughcandy.com, where I've reviewed a few of these career paths. Again, for whatever reason, people are really interested in the backend engineer career path. So we're gonna check this one out. Now, as you can see here, going back to that UX UI thing, for me, navigating through this is so easy. It's like, it's like candy. So easy, it's really well organized, uh, well, what's the word delineated it's well delineated obviously the people who develop this curriculum they have experience they might even have a degree or two uh, just just going through the flow of this curriculum as you can see you're doing projects you're doing beginner intermediate and even some advanced stuff down here but it's a mix of curriculum curricula uh, so there actually aren't that many videos if you go through and check out all these career paths, not just this backend one, the backend engineer, which this one in particular, I don't know if it does have any videos, but let's go in here and you guys can check out this interactive code editor. Now, since I did the last video, honestly, I don't see anything really that has changed in this code editor. I really love this layout. So on the left, you have the text information. So you have to read in order to learn what to do. And then down here in the lower right, you can run the code, you can go forward, you can check your work. And before you rush through the code editor though, whether you're checking out the free tier or the pro tier, definitely explore some of these options. As I was exploring this code editor, there were some Easter eggs. There's like a timer. So if you wanna say, okay, I'm gonna work on this problem for 10 minutes. I can't figure out how to list and I don't know anything about this command line. I'm getting frustrated, cut me off in 10 minutes. That's kind of a, a neat little feature. I don't think it's a make or break, but it's pretty cool. They also have cheat sheets. 
Now, this is something that's been on this platform for a while as well. They have added a few more, it looks like. Uh, and again, whether you're going for data science, you're going for web development or backend engineering, whatever, all these cheat sheets from all the different disciplines are available to you. So if you're interested in React, they have one on JSX, they have one on hooks. Back to the layout and features. So here we are back in this course. This is command line, basic stuff on the command line. But as you can see, your instructions are here. Let's continue with some more commands. But you see how this is real time. You don't have to set anything up, which ugh, I freaking love that. One of the most frustrating things about other platforms is like having to set up these huge environments. And if you're new to it, it can literally take days. But here, back to what I was talking about with like the Easter eggs and the different customizations, you can really customize this editor. There's that timer I was talking about. You can set it to whatever. So it's basically just counting down um, until you're totally frustrated and want to quit and quit forever. Hitting next here, we're just going through the basic commands. I think the pacing of this is really good too. It's super bite-sized. Like every lesson right here is, is basic. Okay, print the working directory, list. Nothing too complicated. Going down here to higher order functions, you guys can see the introduction and code snippets for you to pick up what they're talking about and then right back into that interactive code editor. They also have a Discord and I'm not sure if they still have the forums. Guys, there are a lot of features on this platform. I've used Codecademy Pro doing reviews. I'm a member of Codecademy Pro um, and I'm still discovering these different features. So if you decide to go with it, just remember that there's a lot of stuff here. Probably gonna take more than a day or two to figure out and find everything and just get oriented. So here is an example of a lesson where you're getting some graphics, you're getting some photos, but again, not a lot of videos. So if I go here down to my workspace, I can jump into the projects. Again, just like the other stuff, you're free to jump into whatever one you want. There's some popular ones. You can get some inspiration. And let's hop into this one, this portfolio website. Now, I will say, read through all this stuff. There are demos, there are GIFs. Be sure to read all the instructions or it could get frustrating pretty quickly. But you have the project tasks here. And what's cool about some of these projects, if not most of them, is that once you get into them, you can make them your own and possibly put them into a portfolio. So they're not just your basic, you know, to-do apps. Here's a rare example of a video. And then going back, you can check out your other tasks to do in progress and done. Um, and it's just, again, going back to that UX UI thing, very easy to use. One thing that I do want to show you that is a beta feature, so it's a work in progress. It's not quite a tip top shape, but it is really cool. Various code challenges based on real world technical interviews. So you can choose your language, Python, JavaScript, or Java. May as well check out the egg dropper challenge. It sounds kind of interesting. This is an advanced challenge in JavaScript. Imagine that you have two eggs and are standing at the bottom of a very large skyscraper and things devolve from there. Skill paths, pretty much the same as when I did the first video for Codecademy Pro, we'll pop into one. Pass the technical interview. Okay, sweet, I kind of passed it. Let's talk about price. So as I mentioned, basic, it's free, it's always free, but the curriculum's pretty limited. With the Codecademy Pro option, you can pay annually for $19.99 a month, which is about $240 a year, or month to month is $39.99. I'm trying to think if inflation has hit Codecademy Pro yet, because I think those prices are eerily similar to the ones I gave you in that first review. Um, they also give student discounts. So if you're in college or high school, be sure to check out that program so you can get Codecademy for super cheap. But all in all developers, not much has changed. Not much at all. The UX UI is a little tighter, a few expanded courses, and also that beta feature with the challenges, the code challenges. But other than that, nothing too crazy. I really like this platform. It's one of those platforms that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go on here and like do my coding, but no, it's like really engaging, a great curriculum. They keep things updated, it's solid. 
I definitely recommend checking it out. I do have a link in the description box if you enjoyed this video and want to support the channel. I really appreciate it. If you don't like this video and still want to check out Code Academy, I still encourage you to because I think it's a good platform, especially for new and aspiring web developers and maybe even data scientists. Now, for full disclosure, I haven't completely checked out the data science tracks and paths, but I have checked out the web development tracks and paths in depth and I think they're pretty good. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of Codecademy. Am I, am I far off the mark with my thoughts on this platform? Or do you agree? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.